This is our 2020 Mercedes Sprinter van that we purchased a couple of weeks ago in hopes of turning it into our home away from home. And today, we officially begin. 16 days ago, we made possibly the biggest purchase of our lives and got ourselves our very own Sprinter van. Our mission is to clean it out. He bloody stinks. <laughs> and turn it into a home away from home. We know this won't be easy, so we've got help from Dave, who converts vans like ours all the time with his wife, Helen. But make no mistake, we'll be getting as hands-on as possible. <laughs> Right, first things first, let's rip out this floor and clear out the back. Hopefully it gets rid of the wet dog oh. smell. Still stinks, by the way. You know what you're doing? No. <laughs> wow, I'm good at this conversion stuff. Are you seeing this? We don't buy tea time. I know. <laughs> oh my, there's going to be loads of soil under here, isn't there? I feel like you can see where it's lifted because there's soil compacted under it. So that might be what that rotten smell is. It does make you wonder what this van was used for. There's no way it was a glass van. Is that what they said? Yeah, you yeah. said it's probably not a chance. So what is it you're doing there, babe? Uh, right, I'm just impact tooling the bolts out. <laughs> impact tooling the bolts out? Yeah. Lovely. I'm sure everyone's going to be able to build a van after this. They are some stinky <laughs> bolts. There is so much soil just built up everywhere. I think that's the source of your wet dog smell. Does it literally just lift? Yeah. Oh. Oh, you can see what's going on. <laughs> oh, you can smell it. Oh, what is it? Oh. What is it? It's just a lot of just horrible it's mud just... and... The floor lining in the back of the van was just stuck with moisture and muck, so we had to try and snap it into segments, but even that was difficult. Although we did manage it eventually. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> then it was time for us to clear out the back completely and it was a mess. We can't for the life of us work out what this van was used for previously, but the smell was just awful. We pulled up the remaining floor lining so we could see what we were really working with and to no surprise at all, it was pretty much the same all over. Oh my God, there's a network. It's like Last of Us. There's fungi and everything. The smell ain't so mysterious anymore. There's a whole vegetable garden down here. There must have been gardeners. <laughs> oh, that's so vile. That's disgusting. <laughs> it's just a ball of... It all literally goes right up to the back. I'm not surprised it smells in the cab. Look at this sausage I've just picked out. <laughs> that is vile. Ew! <laughs> oh, so disgusting. We're so intrigued by this soil. It looked like there was a network of something going on in there that we're going to keep it, put it in some sort of pot or bag, and see what it's grown by the end of this whole process. Yeah. You think we'll just get one mushroom? I can't believe we're actually doing this. Where are, we, where are we stashing it for now? It's going to need some Would sunlight in it. Oh, it is going to need light. That'll do, and it'll remain there in that exact spot. So we'll kick spot. it over. <laughs> yeah. actually gone for a walk to try and put Cozy down for a nap in the pram and he is nowhere to be seen he's taken my phone for the white noise and yeah I, I, I don't know where he's gone I don't know if he's lost and we're going on to the next part and it's raining as well <laughs> so starting to get concerned <laughs> van build turns into missing person do you want to call him he's in there anyway what's up Why is he not answering? I'm actually getting a little bit concerned. There's no way he went that far. Hello? Hello, where are you? I've just been to Morrison's, I'm on the way back now. What, have you gone in the car? No. Oh, you walked there? Oh. Yeah, I need to Google Maps though, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay. He got to bloody 
Morrison's. Oh, it's in town. How far is Morrison's? Ten minutes. I could have told someone, you know what I'm saying? I just went to Morrison's. Right, well, welcome back. I lost signal on Google Maps. Yeah, and you lost one of his socks as well. Yeah, but I had to find my way home and it was very scary. I thought I was going to be lost forever at one point, but then I recognised something and here I am oh. with sandwiches. Oh. I even got Dave a sandwich if he wants one. Is that funny, is what, it? What kind of sandwiches does he eat? I've then? got a variety, so hopefully he likes one of them. Chicken and bacon, that's mine, we'll hide that. Oh. Cheese and bunion, ham and cheese. Tuna and sweet corn. Oh, I do like a tuna and sweet corn. Belgian cookies. Oh my goodness. And a bag of walkers so you can select which flavour you like. Uh, they're ready salted. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted salt and vinegar. Nobody wants ready salted I unless it was a you're free. bag. <laughs> <laughs> a well deserved sandwich break. And then on your hands and knees to scrub the deck. Shall I do that bit? This is the bit I'm most excited for and I wasn't going to let anyone else do it. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to need the and the uh <laughs> That feel, eh? Lovely. Got you walk through almost, kind of. Still chairs Smell there. Now. Yeah, yeah, it stinks. <laughs> well, that's where all the stink was, or is. Well, more stink, you mean? More stink, yeah. Oh, oh my oh, god, that's money! A... No, how it's much? Money. Five p. Yeah. But every little helps, you know. That's five p off the whole van price. Jokes on you, Mr. Van Man, who sold us this van and said that he wasn't gonna come down on the price or anything. Turns out you came down five p, mate. But was it worth it? <laughs> Yeah. Done more than five p's worth of sif right. on this bad boy. I just can't fathom how a van that isn't even that old has has been treated so badly. There's just literally mould forming on the back of the seats, and now everything just makes sense, like with the smell and everything. Tired boy. So we're about as clean as we can get it. Still needs to dry, but we're gonna have a brew and then take it for a weigh, which is interesting, right? We get to see how much this bad boy weighs. So then we can work out what we can do with it and because there is weight limitations and there's laws we have to stick to unfortunately so um we have to know the original weight so we can work out what we're going to do which is quite interesting mm, very interesting yeah. very thrilling <laughs> And that is a wrap on day one. Yay! That feels good. I have so much fun. Oh, ow! We've got the desmelinator 3000 pumping out that dirty wet dog smell. So hopefully it will smell lovely by the time we come back. Are you happy? Are you, are you happy with what's happy. been achieved? Yeah. Good. Let's go home. So we are back for day two. And upon further inspection, I've come to the conclusion that this van is unfit for conversion. This is so typical of our look. Um, we kind of knew it was coming. I had my fingers crossed on the way here that the smell would be gone, but after two days of the D Stinker 5 3000 yeah. and stripped back, cleaned everything, in the, it still stinks. Yeah, in the front, after going into the front and beginning to clean the cab, that wet, damp soil is in the front. With the electrical. There could be yeah. hidden mold or anything. Yeah. And I've yeah, got yeah. asthma, we've got a baby. We can't convert we this can't. into a home away from home if we don't know what's going on in the side panels. So we're in a bit of a tough spot because um, we don't know what to do. <laughs> we did ring up the person that sold us the van. The dealership. Hello mate, I'm just looking to speak to someone about a Sprinter van we purchased about two weeks ago. Done a bit more inspection on the van, like we've lifted up the floor. It just looks like it's been flood damaged. It was just a mess underneath and then, because there's like pebbles everywhere, we've pulled up the seats. <laughs> And even on the electricals under the seats, it's like covered in mud and stones. And it just, obviously we wouldn't have seen this at first, but. The, the seats themselves are, are, are 
are quite dirty and, and they do have a strange sort of mouldy smell to them. Um, and yeah, un un underneath, cool. underneath the floor, the floor in the cab as well is full of, yeah, of, of soil and soil and, and, and such under there, which you wouldn't expect to, to, to find it there around the battery and the electrics. I've got um, pictures and videos of the whole process. Like there's just absolutely no way a steam has caused that. There's actually even kind of plant life growing in it. Yeah, so there's no way a that while. a steamer could kind of make something that would have Right. Unfortunately, we can't show you the whole conversation. However, nothing really advanced. We all ended up getting a little frustrated, to be honest, because he just wasn't willing to hear us out. So pretty much no luck there, which kind of sucks, but we are going to seek further advice so we can kind of work out what our best option is, because right now we're in the worst possible place ever, because we can't convert this van. We need another van, which they're hard to come by anyway. And, we and what do we, we do can... with this one? Yeah, we don't know if we can take it back and uh, not fit for purpose. Like we told the company that we were converting it. We feel like for its age it's not in the condition that it should be which we wouldn't have known until, until we, started, we yeah yeah started stripping it going, apart so, so we're in a really bad spot right now but it is what it is i guess yeah so now the decision is does connor travel three and a half hours to go and see another van which potentially we might not buy or potentially someone else could buy by the time you get there and then possibly own two vans not be able to get rid of one it's a lot of money to, to, to buy another van to potentially not get the money back on this one so <laughs> we got a second opinion from a local business who deal with flood damaged properties just to see what they think it's like water there definitely have water in there do you have a look round the other side? There's got to have been water in there at some point. Okay. Although this was nothing official, it was nice to know that the professionals had the same opinion. A little update. We're putting everything back together. <laughs> We're putting the bed. We're putting the bed back together. We're going backwards. I'm on the phone to Citizens Advice. I'm trying to get through. We literally don't know where to go from here. Look at this. Can you see in there? Like, what is that? Can you see it? Like some sort of. I don't know, seeds? So I posted this on my Instagram story just out of pure curiosity. I wanted to know what these were and why they were in the walls. And to my surprise, a lot of people replied telling me rat poisoning and not just any rat poisoning, some of the strongest stuff that you can buy. Groundbreaking discovery. <laughs> you know, like the little seedy pellets. Eh? It's rat poison. <laughs> no, it's, <not. laughs> it's, rat, it's professional rat poison. Mm. It looks exactly the same. Show a picture. So we're on hold with Citizens Advice. <laughs> got some lovely hold music this time. Oh, lovely. Happier, happier. Hard yeah, happier because you got through. And you want that it's called the Consumer Rights Act 2015. Call us back and we'll advise you further. Amazing. That's brilliant. Thank you very much. No worries. Thank you for today. Bye. Have a good day. So right. she reckons we've got a case. Let's make it feel a bit better. It was still. Of course you will. Nice clean cloth. Oh, that's just disgusting. How is that even possible? What is that? Exactly. Mm. But also, like we were saying, if there was a bulkhead here, why would that ever get dirty like that? I mean, I can't lie. I, I, this isn't ex what I was expecting. Putting the van back together. The backwards van conversion. Yep. Deconverting. This is our... <laughs> is that it? Yeah! Burpy boy. Look at some stinky bolts. <laughs> How's this mask work? Back of the head. They're the, like the ones we had in COVID. Oh, wait, wait. We did it! 